America's Government Accountability Office GAO, report have stated that U.S. currently lacks the defenses required to protect against the latest crop of hypersonic weapons being developed by China and Russia. The report states, China and Russia are pursuing hypersonic weapons because their speed, altitude and maneuverability may defeat most missile defense systems, and they may be used to improve long-range conventional and nuclear strike capabilities. There are no existing countermeasures. Viewers can go through the report from the link given in the description section below. This technically means that U.S. land bases and supercarrier may be vulnerable to strikes. In its response to the GAO, the Department of Defense described the report as an accurate, although sobering, macro picture of how the U.S. stands in the world against emerging threats. In this video, Defense Updates analyzes three Russian and Chinese hypersonic weapons that can penetrate American defenses. Let's get started. An object is said to be hypersonic once they exceed speeds of Mach 5 or five times the speed of sound. This is about 1,715 meters per second or 3,836 miles per hour or 6,174 kilometers per hour. Hypersonic weapons as of today can be broadly categorized into two types. First is the hypersonic cruise missile. These use scramjet engine. The scramjet is an innovation on the ramjet. Ramjet engine can power flight to supersonic speeds, but scramjet can enable the missile to reach hypersonic speeds. These engines have no moving parts, like the compressors and turbines used in the turbofan engines found on conventional jet planes. They rely on huge pressure created by fast airflow into the engine to ignite fuel and generate thrust. Second is using hypersonic glide vehicle HGV. In this method, the system is launched to extremely high altitudes where it skips across the Earth's upper atmosphere and then glides back attaining hypersonic speed and can be maneuvered. It must be noted that traditional ballistic missiles like American Minuteman III, Russian Sarmat or Indian Agni missile all travel at hypersonic speeds, but they follow a predictable ballistic trajectory and can't maneuver mid-course. Viewers may note that Avangard was one of the several new weapons first mentioned by Russian President Putin on March 1, 2018 in his State of Nation address before Russian lawmakers and other senior government officials. During that speech, Mr. Putin had said that the hypersonic intercontinental rocket was capable of traveling 20 times the speed of sound and could strike like a meteorite. It's like a fireball guided to its target. Avangard is hypersonic glide vehicle. The Kremlin said during the test on the 26th of December, the weapon successfully hit a target at a distance of 6,000 kilometers. For the latest flight test on the 26th of December, Avangard was deployed on board a UR-100 UTTKH ICBM. It was launched from the Dombrovsky missile base in the Ural Mountains and hit a target at the Kura missile test range. Yuri Borisov, the deputy prime minister of Russia, stated a day later on Russian TV channel that the missile flew at 27 times the speed of sound. That's Mach 27. After watching the live feed of the launch of the Avangard, Mr. Putin said it had been a great success and an excellent New Year's gift to the nation. He added the Avangard is invulnerable to intercept by any existing and prospective missile defense means of the potential adversary. He further mentioned that the weapon will be in service with Russian military strategic forces by 2019. Last year, China tested the Starry Sky 2. Like Avangard, it's a hypersonic glide vehicle. In August of last year, Global Times reported that the China Academy of Aerospace Aerodynamics, run by state-owned space contractor China Aerospace Science and Technology Corp., 
has successfully conducted the first flight test of Starry Sky 2. The test was conducted at an undisclosed target range in northwest China. The flight vehicle was carried by a multi-stage rocket. As per the Academy, once released, the vehicle was able to make large angle turning maneuvers and achieve a top speed of Mach 6. The experimental prototype is reported to have been developed in three years. Though the system is currently in the initial stage, once fully developed, it could be used to carry conventional warheads and ultimately nukes. Kinzhal, like Avangard, was first disclosed to the public by Russian President Putin on March 1, 2018 in his State of the Nation address. But unlike Avangard, which is hypersonic glide vehicle, Kinzhal is a hypersonic cruise missile. As per reports, the Kinzhal has air-launched as well as ground-launched variants. In the presentation video, a MiG-31 Foxhound interceptor was shown to be carrying and releasing it. Computer-generated animation during Putin's speech showed Kinzhal attacking naval warships, though it reportedly has a land attack capability. It has a range of approximately 1,250 miles or 2,000 kilometers and a top speed of more than 10 times the speed of sound, in other words, Mach 10. It's also capable of carrying a nuclear warhead. According to President Putin, the missile has been deployed operationally in units in the country's southern military district. Contrary to Putin's claims, U.S. officials say Russia has not deployed any of its hypersonic weapons which remain in the test phase. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your feedback in the comment section. This will help us improve.